This is question number five of exercise five point two from the chapter continuity and differentiability. The question is differentiate with respect to x sine of a x plus b upon cos of c x plus t. Now to solve this question, we should know this result. This result in differentiation is known as quotient rule, and it is like this: if u and v are function of x. Then d upon dx of u upon v is equal to v into u dash, where u dash represents d by dx of u minus v uh, minus u into v dash, that is u into d by dx of v upon v square. And this can be remembered very easily that d by dx of numerator upon denominator is equal to denominator into differentiation of numerator minus Numerator into differentiation of denominator upon square of the denominator. Okay, so let's start solving this question, and uh, we have to calculate d by dx of sine of ax plus b upon cos of cx plus d. So applying quotient rule, we can write it like this: This is denominator, so square of the denominator is written in the denominator, and in the numerator we have denominator. Cos of cx plus d into d by dx into d by dx of numerator minus numerator into d by dx of denominator. Okay. So further to solve uh, to solve further, we should calculate the d by dx of sine of ax plus b and d by dx of cos of cx plus d. So differentiation of sine of ax plus b. Would be equal to cos of ax plus b into d by dx of ax plus b. That is, we have applied chain rule, and uh, we know that differentiation of sine x is equal to cos x. So differentiation of sine of ax plus b would be equal to cos of ax plus b, and because instead of x we have ax plus b, so we have multiplied cos of ax plus b with d by dx of ax plus b. Further, b is a constant, so differentiation of b would be zero. And a multiplies with x, so here only x would be differentiated, differentiated, and differentiation of x with respect to x would be equal to one. So we are going to get a here. Okay, so this would be equal to a times cos of a x plus b. Similarly, d by dx of cos of c x plus d would be equal to minus sine of c x plus d into d by dx of c x plus d. Differentiation of Cos x is equal to minus sine x, so differentiation of cos of c x plus d would be equal to minus sine of c x plus d, and because here instead of x we have cos of c x plus d, so we are going to multiply minus sine of c x plus d into d by d x of c x plus d. D is a constant, so differentiation would be zero. Differentiation of x with respect to x would be equal to one. So here we are going to get c. So this would be equal to minus c into sine of C x plus d. Okay, so on substituting the value or, or placing the value of d y by d x of sine of a x plus b as a cos of a x plus b, I am going to get in the numerator the first term as a cos c x plus d into cos of a x plus b, and uh, placing the value of d y d x of cos of c x plus d as minus sine uh, minus c sine c x plus d. I am going to get. Plus minus minus is going to become plus c sine e x plus b into c sine c x plus d and denominator as it is. Okay, so this is my this is about about my answer. But we are required to match the answer given inside given in our textbook for our satisfaction. Okay, for this we are going to simplify this question to that extent. Okay, now to solve further. What I see here is this: that numerator consists of two terms. So I'm going to divide these two terms separately by cos uh, by cos square c x plus d like this. Okay, here you can see that this cos of c x plus d can be cancelled, and the square would be removed. So one upon cos of c x plus d can be written as sec of c x plus d. And similarly, here. The sine of c x plus d, we can take one cos of c x plus d from the square and write as equal to tan of c x plus d, 
and cos of cx plus d which remains in the denominator can be written as sec of cx plus d okay so we have the term like this a cos of ax plus b and you can as 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 i have discussed this cos of cx plus d and square cancels and 1 upon cos of cx plus d is written as sec of cx plus d similarly c tan a, ax plus b sorry c sin ax plus b is written and sin cx plus d upon cos of cx plus d can be written as tan of cx plus d and one which cos one of the cos which remains in the uh, denominator is written as sec of cx plus d okay so this is my required answer friends thanks for watching my video to watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates subscribe and like the videos on these channels on youtube hsk shiksha and math help by hsk thank you